Hello YouTube, this is Learn Tutorials, and welcome to your 21st GIMP tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the Colorize tool in GIMP. So let's get started, go to the Colors tab, go to Colorize, and you're going to see that the image has been transformed into different shades of blue. Now, in the image, originally, there was yellow, um, I think there was white and red, and I'm pretty sure that was it for this image but um, now it's just different shades of blue the reason why there's no different colors in the image when we use the colorize tool is because it's taking the image the original image it's turning it into a black and white image so there's no colors in a black and white image besides black and white and the grays in between obviously and then it's going to kind of overlay a different uh, color on top of it. So think of it like you're taking an old black and white photograph and then you're taking a piece of colored glass and you're laying it on top. This is basically what it's doing when you use the colorize tool. So that's why there's no different colors when you use it. It's just different shades of this one color. You can make presets obviously if you want to, uh, you know, repeat this effect across a bunch of images, preview. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention, this will only affect the current selected layer of the image. So I only have one layer right here, but if you have like a hundred, don't think that it's going to just go across the board and um, edit the entire image when you do this, just the uh, selected layer. Lightness is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you click the reset button if you wanna change the sliders to what they were you know the saturation will make the colors more vivid more prominent more colorful i guess uh, i think i mentioned that before and then the hue which is based on the hsv color circle in case you want to look it up later uh, will change the hue to whatever you choose so if i do something like this it will look kind of like sepia or sepia or whatever so yeah that's basically it for the colorize tool uh, any questions just comment them and i'll respond and have a nice day see you in the next tutorial